Hello Pisces! Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. For the main part of the read, I am using Bonefire Tarot, bon, Bonefire Tarot, Bonefire Tarot by Gabby Angus West. Uh, brain just went out. Oh, my brain. Uh, Schiffer Books. I was saying, I know there's a website for them. Schifferbooks.com. Hopefully you can see it if you want. Schifferbooks.com if you want to search that out. Feel free to freeze frame if you need to. All right, supportive oracle cards. You are Clairvoyant Oracle Cards by Belinda Grace, illustrated by Elaine Marzen. This one is rockpoolpublishing.com.au, A is an apple, U is an umbrella. All right, enjoy as you will. Okay, as you want, however that goes. Pisces. Oh, like I'm excited for you all of a sudden. Why? I'm a Pisces. Can I be included in this? <laughs> <laughs> this looks kind of fun. What's going on? I'm like, I'm a, like, yeah, I'm a Pisces. Me too, right? Me too. Um, you know, it's general read. We'll see. Um, you're headed towards information coming your way. Information is there. It's not quite to you yet. Okay. Right now it's blocked. Which seems like that's really frustrating. Um, do you even know what's blocked? Do you know? I'm going to use the dice a little bit. Do you understand? Do you like what is this subject? Like what is blocked? Like in what what area? Like I know Pisces loves love. I'm going to say that as a Pisces. But sometimes we're very good at business stuff. Um, some of us really are anyway. Um, Four of Pentacles and the 19, which is the Sun card. I'm holding on, I'm waiting for something, is what I'm feeling. And I know something good is coming my way, and I'm like... <laughs> I feel like I've been waiting, and I'm like... <laughs> where? Where are ya? I'm, I feel like as a Pisces, it's very much... Like, if you clicked on this and you're not a Pisces, it could still apply, but it's like one of those things where I feel like I've been leave, believing in something, trying to believe in something, but I'm like... I'm starting to really question, like, am I just telling myself stories? Am I just wanting to believe something? Like, am I just literally just telling myself stories? Because where's the action? Where is it actually happening? And that's where I'm like, where, where is it happening? Where is it? Okay. I'm waiting. I'm hoping. I'm doing my part. Where is it? Um, for a lot of you, you might even be, be, be preparing or getting ready to prepare. Like, what does that mean? Um, this, th there's a shift in the energy. I get that. But you're waiting and you're preparing. You've got it up here. Like, you know what you need to do. And you're like, yep, and when the time's right, I'll do what I need to do. But I don't see anything happening. So, there, like, what is for me to do if there's nothing else going on around me? Some of you have been preparing. I don't know what, what whatever you're preparing for, it's like you're, you've been getting ready. For example, if, like, if it is a relationship you want, if that's what you actually want, you may have been doing like research on like, you know, how to get rid of bad patterns, how to recognize red flags. Uh, Paul McKenna has a book, How To, How To Mend Your Broken Heart, where you're just maybe addressing like we all have baggage, so I'm gonna work on mine so that way when I find the right one, I'm gonna bring as little of baggage as possible forward. So like I've dealt with my stuff, so we don't have to deal with that. And possibly I'll be able to help them with their stuff. Um, big fan of Paul McKenna, if I've never mentioned, <laughs> which I probably have. Um, British author. I love that book. He's very empowering. Um, if it's a business thing, you might have been doing research or, like, getting used to getting ready for stuff. Um, it may be even in the sense of, like, before I worked for myself, I had jobs that I worked in different types of financial institutions, different departments. Um, I learned different parts of like public speaking. Like I was doing this the whole time and never realized it was adding up to something. <laughs> never realized it until it actually. So it, you might be actually doing the preparation and not realizing you're getting pre prepared for certain things. Uh, it might be something like that because it seems like something's getting ready to happen here. And it does feel like for a lot of you, whatever it is, even if it's a relationship thing, just to be fair, there's a there's like a community connection with this. So. I just, I just want to like take this out of the weird and put this into the relatable. 
does not have to be romantic, but if if it's like if this is romantic, whoever you connect with, there's they're gonna have a big social life, and you're gonna fit into that social life, and you're gonna be a good part of that. Um, just to be fair, I feel like a lot of you, I don't know, it could be, it could be, but like I see, I keep feeling like this financial connection too, where maybe you're looking to move forward financially, or you're moving forward in a business sense. It's being more connected and more appreciated in a community sense and more fitting in in a community sense. Um, there's definitely a community connection here for all of you that this is going to connect with. Like it says community, but like with the with the chariot coming in with it, there's a big community connection here, like a big social connection. I'm trying to find another word. It's social. So if you're joining a group or there's something you want to move ahead in, there's a big social network you're coming in contact with that it's going to make things a lot more complicated but a lot more enjoyable. Um, one of those situations where when this moves forward, no matter what direction it is, you're connected in a community sense. Like you're not going to stay anchored with this situation if you don't find a way to assimilate the community too. Whatever this is, I do feel like there's a community connection. If you don't connect with the community, it doesn't feel like this is really going to latch in correctly and it may not complete or may like the, it's like trying to link it together and it may not it may not make it. But if you connect with the community, it's like you're there and you're stable. Definitely a community connection here. Um, it's also one of those things where less is more. So whatever this is you're waiting for, information is coming. It's it's starting to come together. It has a big connection with community. It's going to start happening. But the thing is, less is more is very interesting. You've got the Hierophant on your side, and you've got the Page of Swords on the other. you got to hold back a little bit, but not too much. Well, that's fun. Um, so holding back, the way I'm feeling this, when I'm feeling your side with the Hierophant, you listen a lot. It's like listen much, talk little. I forget how that saying is supposed to go. Listen ye much, talk ye little, I think is how it's supposed to be said. I think, something like that. Kind of like pay attention to what's going on, read between the lines, pay attention to about how people really are versus who they are pretending to be. Uh, I'm very much in the boat. The more people you have, you're going to have a mix of good and bad. You just are. Good, bad, and in the middle. You're just going to have a mix of that. It's figuring out who is what and realizing you're probably going to be wrong from time to time. This is so fun. <laughs> kind of like holding back and trying to understand who you really can trust, who you really should believe, who really gets caught up in the situation. I know a lot of people who get caught up in a situation. They're not bad people, but they might get dragged along the stairs, if you will. Uh, so you kind of have to be like, okay, they're a good person. I believe they're telling me what they believe is the truth. Doesn't mean it's the, actually the truth. Vice versa, there may be people who aren't really the best people, but sometimes they give away the situation without realizing they're giving away the situation. You got to kind of like work it through. You got to pay attention. Listen, listen much, talk little, that type thing. Listen you much, talk ye little, something like that. Um, it's coming forward in the next month or month and a half, month, month and a half, whatever it is, something seems to start and it's balancing out what's really there in front of you. Um, it's something you really want to happen. It's just when it's coming in, it's kind of like instead of it starting off with a bang with the Queen of Wands, it's starting off very slowly and very stable with the Queen of Pentacles. These are different energies, both very important. It depends on the situation, which one works better for you, obviously. But I'm getting like it's not going to be like a quick start. It's going to be a slow start, but that's going to give you more stability, more, more of a chance to keep what you're getting. And more of your more of a chance to evaluate. Maybe this is something like this is a general read. Something starts coming in. Start something starts to feel like I don't really. It may be offered to me, but maybe I really don't want it. This is giving you time to either redirect that energy or maybe even walk away from it if you decide. You know what? No, no, I've decided no. Um, the whole thing with this next situation coming in, you have to have control of where you stand and how you will participate. I'm not saying you have to have a control of anybody else, and maybe not of the major or the overall situation, especially if it's business. Even if it's a partner, you don't want to control. I don't feel like Pisces usually wants to control people. I just, it's not really common, not usually. And then 
your birth chart can be very complicated. So, but I'm just saying usually that's not a Pisces thing. Um, but you have to have control of yourself and how you relate to things and what you know, you can't let people control you. You have to be in that type of energy where you know, all right, I don't want to control other people, but I'm not letting anybody control me either. You got to be aware of it. Uh, was that self reflection, self acceptance? You got to set yourself up to remember who you are and be respectful, respectful and honorable to you and what you feel. Self loyalty. The more you have of self loyalty, which is kind of like the way I like a really easy connection with that would be kind of like you will go over to somebody's house and they offer you dinner. So. For me, I'm going to give an example. Like, I don't know what it is. Like, liver just makes my skin crawl. <laughs> like, if I get it in my mouth, like, my throat closes up usually. I don't know what to say, but, like, not an allergic reaction, but, like, it really, like, makes me gag. So self-loyalty is, like, thank you, um, but I no thank you. I'll eat more. If you don't mind, I'm going to eat more broccoli, but I'm not going to eat the liver. Thank you. Just I really don't like it. It's, like appreciating what you want and not taking something you don't want. I feel like that's very weird because I feel like, especially when you go to somebody's house and you're eating food, like if they offer you something and they offer you dinner, you're like, I would love the broccoli, but I, I'm, I'm just going to pass on the liver, no offense. And like also like realizing you need to be self-loyal, like I don't want that. Maybe I'll try one piece, but maybe not. And realizing the reaction you get from somebody when you say thank you to this, no thank you to that, even though you're offering me, just because you're offering it to me doesn't mean I should take it. Um, that's self-loyalty, kind of like, I'm not going to take that, I really don't want that. But if you want to offer me this over here, I would love some of that. Um, that is self-loyalty. I feel like people get that confused sometimes, because like just because somebody offers you something and they have the term, like, if, you, if I offer you dinner, you have to eat everything. No, no. Maybe it's better just to walk. Maybe if and if those are the terms, maybe recognizing that and go like if it's all or nothing. Maybe it's better to do nothing. No, I'll pass. But thank you. Um, self loyalty, only doing what you really want to do and having that control, um, because there's something coming in. Something is really good here, but like the more self loyalty you have, the stronger it is too. Um, you got the King of Cups coming in, which don't get caught up in the gender with this open door thing. Openness, open door. Like, somebody's waiting for you. I don't know if they realize it's literally you they're waiting for, possibly. Somebody's waiting for you. I don't know if they literally know it's you specifically. I don't know if they're going to click into, like, oh, it's you. You know, Pisces person, obviously. No, they may not realize that, but they may, the more they get to know you, they're going to be like, you're the one I've been waiting for, whatever that means. Like, if it's romantic, cool, but if it's like a business thing, you may just fit in like like that, that like, oh, yes, you're the part we've been missing, you're the person we've been missing, you're the one we've been needing. Because it seems like somebody's been looking for, for you without realizing it's literally you. Take it with a grain of salt. This is good. In the next month and a half, it starts... And this person may be, even though it's a water card, they may be slow to the draw to realize it's you they've been looking for. Pisces is really good at being elusive. <laughs> and you might you might give them that push-pull, like, yeah, you know, I, uh, maybe Pisces, no Pisces, yes Pisces, no Pisces, I don't know Pisces. You, you might confuse them without trying to, just to be fair. Um, so if they don't click in right away, but you do, just keep that in mind. They, it might take them a, middle, a minute to figure it out. I know that... Water is usually quite intuitive, but they might not trust their own intuition. That might be a factor here, just to be aware. Just to be aware of that. Are we good? I think we're there. I think the message is there. So I think this is really good. Um, it's starting. Evaluate what you want and keep what you want. And just self-loyalty, big piece of it. Self-loyalty, big, big, huge. Make this what you want. Are we good? Okay, I feel like I need to sh shut it down, so I'm going to shut it down. Thank you for watching. I hope that helps. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're looking for the donation information, that's below with the same email. Thanks again for watching, and have a great day.